o'clock, we are getting our first look at body camera footage from a deadly police shooting here in Indianapolis. Now, this shooting happened last month on the, on the near northwest side. Take a close look. The first body camera video shows an officer finding a vehicle outside of a home on Eugene Street on September 24th. Earlier that day, a driver in that vehicle committed a traffic violation. Police tried to pull the vehicle over. It did speed away at that time, and police did not chase after it. A second video shows a different officer walking up to the home. A woman was on the porch. Officers previously noticed that she had a gun in her waistband. Officers approached her, and that's when the video shows her moving to grab a gun. Officers yelled for her not to touch the firearm or motion towards it. The video shows her pulling out the gun and raising it, and that's when multiple officers fired their guns, hitting the woman. That woman died at the scene. IMPD says the release of this video is another step to provide transparency into how officers patrol the streets. CBS 4's Russ McQuaid returned to the neighborhood of that police shooting. He asked residents and the mayor if IMPD accountability has improved. Yesterday afternoon, Mayor Hogsett and IMPD Chief Randall Taylor led a neighborhood walk through this community. And right past that house you see behind me where a month ago, four IMPD officers fatally wounded a woman. Just before the mayor took his walk down Eugene Street, I asked him what he sees when he watches the body camera videos IMPD has released. My admonition to everybody in this city is, regardless of what situation you find yourself in, don't ever point a gun at a police officer because nothing good can come from that. Body camera videos and civilian majority review boards were part of new efforts intended to enhance IMPD transparency and gain public trust. I think for the most part, body cams are serving the purpose that they were intended to serve. One recent video led to discipline for an officer. Earlier this month, IMPD Chief Randy Taylor announced he was suspending an officer caught on camera, apparently kicking a man in the head during an arrest on Monument Circle. I think the only thing the cameras do are document things, which documentation is good, but in the cases with George Floyd, in the cases with Deshaun Reed, and recently the brother at the circle, it's never prevented anyone from being hurt or harassed. So far this year, IMPD has been involved in 11 shots fired incidents, resulting in three deaths. Well, we're headed in the right direction. IMPD is moving in the right direction. It's not fully there where we can say the community trusted and elevates a trust level between the community and IMPD. We're still looking for how some of these things play out. True transparency will be when they can show it and let the community decide. Not only will IMPD Civilian Majority Use of Force Board review this shooting, it will also be looked at by the Marion County Grand Jury. On the west side, Russ McQuaid, CBS 4 News. Russ, thank you again. If you